I'm Dan Trott from the technical training team at Rotorque, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the CK Additional Indication Drive. The Additional Indication Drive, or AID module for short, can be fitted to any of the CK variants and includes a mechanical position indicator and can also include intermediate travel switches and a potentiometer. For details of setting the AID, you can find in any of the CK startup guides. The AID module is housed behind this extended switch mechanism cover, which also includes a window for viewing the mechanical indicator. To adjust the aid, we need to remove the four fixings holding this cover in place. And once the four fixings have been removed, we can withdraw the cover and gain access to the aid to adjust it as necessary. Before adjusting any settings on the aid though, it's very important that the actuator limits have been correctly set. The first function of the aid that we are going to commission is the local position indicator. We are to look at the window, you notice there's a small marker on the side of the window, and this needs to be aligned with either the black close symbol or the red open symbol. Please note that this cover can be fitted in 90 degree steps and so we must recognise and fit back the cover to align correctly with the marker. We now need to move the actuator and the valve to the close limit. Once the actuator is at the close limit we can loosen the locking screw on the front of this indicator and adjust the black dial so that the closed indication aligns with the marker on the cover. Once it's in position we can tighten the locking screw we do not need to be concerned with the position of the open indicator at this time. Once a screw has been locked, it's always a good idea to temporarily refit the cover just to ensure that the marker aligns with the indication. Once we're happy with the setup for the closed indication, we can move the actuator to the open position. Once the actuator has reached the open limit, we now need to adjust the open dial for the mechanical indicator. This time, when we relax the locking screw, we have to be careful that the black closed dial does not move position. So we hold the closed one in position, relax the locking screw, and then we can remove move the red dial to it aligned with the marker and retighten the locking screw, keeping both dials held firmly in place. Again, it's a good idea just to temporarily refit the cover to ensure that everything aligns as required, provided it does, that completes commissioning of the local indicator. The next thing that we're going to adjust are the mid-travel position switches. The mid-travel position switches can come in a bank of two or a bank of four and all are adjusted in the same way. In this case, I've got a potentiometer included on this unit, which is slightly blocking my access to the mid-travel switches. So for the purposes of this exercise, I'm going to remove the potentiometer. If you are to do this, please make a note of which of the potentiometer gears is connected to the main drive gear. To remove the potentiometer, I need a two mil Allen key, a locking grub screw on the side, which I relax, and then I can slide the potentiometer out of the way. So in this case, I've got four mid-travel position switches. Each are operated by a, a nylon cam, and I have to move the actuator and valve to the position at which I want the switch to change state. And then I depress the cam against the spring and rotate it so that the switch has just been made. The final step in commissioning the aid is to set the potentiometer. Please note the potentiometer could be supplied as a single hot device or a resistive output, or it could be supplied with a small circuit board fitted to the frame, giving a current output change. To set the potentiometer, we need to move the actuator to the closed limit. Once the actuator is at the closed limit, we can relax the locking grub screw and rotate the potentiometer away from the main drive gear. Please make a note of which of the stepped gears on the potentiometer is engaged with the main drive gear for correct refitment. We rotate the potentiometer away and then adjust it fully anti-clockwise. Once it is fully anti-clockwise, we just rotate three or four gear teeth back in the clockwise direction and then refit the correct step gear back onto the main drive gear and lock the grub screw. It is now a good idea to check the resistive output from the potentiometer is as expected and then to move the actuator to the open limit and again check the resistance output is within required values. Once all of the functions of the aid have been set up, it's simply a case of refitting the cover, reusing the fixings previously removed and one final check is just to operate the actuator and confirm that the mechanical indicator updates as the actuator is traveling. This completes the CKA setup guy video. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back for future training videos.